there, it's Jaws and Malfoy. Yeah, I got a kitty and I'm so happy with him. And he was just climbing on top of me while I was about to film the video. So I was like, come say hi. Say hi, kitty. Oh, he's so done with this. Um, so welcome to another monthly talk this in this video I will be talking about uh, products that I loved and products that I didn't love that much during the months of January and February I did not film a video for January because I just had one product to talk about he's gonna drop everything I'm sure of it uh, so I decided to combine both months together and I still don't have many products to talk about I have three products that I loved and two products that I didn't love So let's get started So I'm gonna start on a positive side. I'm gonna talk about the products that I loved They are two lipsticks and an eyeshadow So starting with the eyeshadow. It's a single eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown Essentials uh, and it's in the shade bone 2 and it's a white eyeshadow. It's not entirely white. It's kind of beige, like a bone color. The name describes the color perfectly. It's a bone color. And I've been using this as a base for my eyelids. Um, in my previous video, I showed you what I've been doing with like my eyelids that are super oily and how I make my eyeshadow. Hi, kitty is walking around uh, and how I'm setting my eyelids I'm applying concealer the one from Deborah and then on top I usually apply a light colored eyeshadow and when I'm doing it in a rush or on a daily basis I wouldn't like to like open up a palette and get the light shade so I really love this cute compact eyeshadow and it's so so pigmented yeah it's really pigmented it makes my eyelids so smooth and white and just the perfect canvas for any eyeshadow um so yeah i've been really loving this product next product is a lipstick and it's from the brand rose and it's in the shade 05 so this brand is really really cheap i got it from a local store and I was like what is this brand so I got this for 30 Egyptian pounds which equals I don't know less than two dollars um, like a euro and a half something like this so it was really cheap and I wasn't expecting it to be that great but it turned out to be that great it's the lipstick I'm wearing right now and mind you I've been wearing this makeup since 7 a.m. and now it's around like 3 p.m. so yeah I did not reapply and I had something to drink and I had something to eat so it doesn't look that great right now but if you think that it's been through a long day with food and water and everything and it's still standing strong I'm really impressed what I love about this lipstick is it smells really interesting of course the shade is beautiful but it's so so matte to the point of it being like what is this so yeah i don't know if you can tell but it's super dry so that's kind of a downside if you have super dry lips maybe this will be too dry for you but what i've been doing is i apply a lip balm underneath and then i apply this on top and then i do the tissue trick and it's perfect i don't feel it dried up i don't feel it rigid i feel actually i don't feel that i'm wearing anything on my lips it's really so lightweight and just amazing it, is it kiss poof kiss poof <laughs> is it kiss poof yeah okay there's just a little bit of pink here but i mean it's it's a really good formula and for the price I'm amazed. I can't wait to get more shades of this. So the last positive product for this month is a lipstick from Bourjois. And it's their Rouge Velvet um, collection in the shade 16 Caramelody. 
and it's this beautiful shape i love the packaging it's kind of hard to open but look at the shape of this lipstick it's like a, a teardrop it's so pretty and oh my god it's so smooth like you have no idea how smooth it is and then when you apply it you're like oh this is too creamy but then it dries down or if you especially if you do like with the tissue thing it dries up to a beautiful matte velvet texture it's so moussey it actually reminds me of nyx cosmetics full throttle lipstick i think i've talked about it before it's one of my favorite formulas because it's so creamy but then it dries down to a matte finish without being like matte and drying it's a really interesting formula uh, so yeah, this is a very similar formula and it's actually more affordable than NYX. So yeah, that was a really interesting find. Also, I can't wait to get more shades of this. These two, I really want to try out more shades and I will be showing them in my channel and talking about them. Okay, so now we've reached the negative side of the video. I have two products to talk about. And the first one is actually a skincare product, it's not even makeup, it's a moisturizer or like a body balm stick thingy so in my last video i talked about juviality it's a local egyptian brand that does skincare from natural pro from natural like ingredients and everything the lighting is so bad i'm so sorry i always use natural lighting that is so inconsistent like, it could be really good it could be really bad it's the sun you can't control it so last month i talked about this product right here is a brow growth serum and I loved it. It was amazing. It helped my brows um, grow and be healthy and be amazing. However, I tried their body balm moisture on the go little stick thingy and it's what they're famous for. And I didn't like it. Um, I knew it would be a risk with the scent because they only have online... Like, I could only get it online, so I couldn't actually smell the thing before buying it. So I knew it was a risk, and I ended up not liking the scent that much, but it's not there. F I mean, it was a risk I knew I would take. This is not what is bothering me. The scent is okay. Not my favorite. Oh, yeah, what, what scent is it? Tropical Grapefruit. So it is tropical, and it does smell like a grapefruit. So it's a really nice scent. I'm just not into... I thought it would be more tropical, like coconutty but i mean it's my fault the scent is okay they have so many other scents that's not the problem the problem is that i would think i thought that it would roll up and then roll down because that would be the convenient thing to do but no you push it and it goes up and then you have to touch it and push it so it can go down so like the packaging and then the cap is the one that rolls so I kind of think that the packaging could be done a bit more smartly. I don't know. The packaging was kind of a bummer. So I gave it to my sister for a while because she loved the scent. So she used it like two or three times and then she left it and I completely forgot about it. And then two or three weeks later, I remembered it. And I was like, okay, let's give it another try. And it was completely dried up. I don't know if you can tell, but it has completely turned into a block of I would describe soap dry soap I don't know and I was like okay maybe it looks bad but it doesn't feel bad so I tried applying it on my skin and it was it did not do any it's it's so dry it's like nothing it's supposed to be a moisturizer how could a moisturizer or a body balm dry up so quickly and it was closed well like it was airtight airtight it was closed well um it wasn't it i didn't leave it in the sun i don't know what happened but it's unusable now so the last product is something from nyx and it's actually a product that i love it's the nyx soft matte lip cream but i love I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have London, which is my all-time favorite. Hi, kitty. The problem with this is the shade. Like, this particular shade I was having issues with. And I've had it for such a long time and I've given it so many chances. 
but I've reached my limit so I've decided to talk about it in this video. So it's not a new product that I've tried, I've had it for years and I'm trying and trying and trying but the scent is amazing, everything is amazing but it's so patchy. It's so patchy. Like I have never tried any lipstick that is as patchy as this one. It's just not wearable anymore. Every time I wear it, I'm like, I'm gonna give it another chance. But I regret it. It's a struggle to apply and like try to make it into a uniform look. And then when I finally do that, it dries down and moves around and just the color is not consistent at all. So yeah, we've reached the end of the video. I finally uploaded a short video, kind of. I know that you don't really enjoy long videos, so I will try to do shorter videos from now on. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you liked my recommendations or my warnings. So, yeah, see you in my next video.